What is up guys? Today I'll be trying to show you how to do all of Commando's missions. By this I do not mean the mission to get a skin because I don't really define that as a mission. To be clear the missions I mean are Incorruptible, Godspeed, and Rolling Thunder. If this helped you please consider subscribing but let's get into it. So what you want to do is you want to select Drizzle and pick the Artifact of Command as always. If you do not know what the Artifact of Command is or do not have it, I will link uh, my video in the comments to how to get it. The first mission you want to focus on is the Godspeed one where you have to fully charge the teleporter in 5 minutes. Now you definitely have time to get a single chest before then and since you have the Artifact of Command you can pick whatever it is and I would choose a healing item straight out the back. Now this may be drizzle but you still want to get health items and you're about to go face a boss so it's a good I idea to build that first. A good tip on how to find the teleporter is look for the orange sparkles in the air. Once you're there just start it immediately, stay in the circle and you should be able to easily kill the boss and fully charge it before 5 minutes. The next two missions are a lot harder than this first one which are the incorruptible and rolling thunder. Those two missions are to get a final blow on the overloading worm and getting past 20 levels without picking up a single lunar item. There is no way to spawn in an overloading worm but you should just come across it while going through these 20 stages. Make sure you don't pick up any lunar items which are in those lunar ponds or in between the time. I forgot about the lunar item thing so I accidentally picked up one. But being on Drizzle and having Artifact of Command, getting to 20 levels and defeating an overloading worm should be cakewalk for you. So what you're going to be wanting for items is crits, attack speed, and you want to build items around the death mark. Also don't forget about healing. If you skip over healing, you will most likely die. If you come across the yellow, I would either get the urn or the shatter spleen since shatter spleen also helps with crits and bleeding and death mark. For the red, I would get Dio's best friend. I cannot speak for your skill, but it would sure suck to play it for that long to get to 20 stages and you die. So the items you really want to be building are the soldier's syringe, the lens maker glasses, which uh, increases the chance to critically strikes. You can really pick whatever heals you'd like. I'd go with the uh, med kit and I'd also go with the uh, harvester scythe, which gives you health on each crit that you hit. Now, if you don't know what death mark is, it's something that's slept on heavily. The death mark makes it so that if you get four debuffs on a enemy, it marks them, increases damage taken by 50% from all sources. And the debuffs are things such as gasoline that does fire, uh, triple tip dagger, which does bleeding, chrono bobble that does slows, and the mix urn that does tar. The most important advice I can give to you is to make sure you hit interact on the edge of this teleporter here so you go to the next level and you don't fight Mythrix. You don't want to fight Mythrix because if you do, then you won't get to level 20. Also, later on, I really just started to get so many reds and yellows that I decided just to get whatever. If you forget to hit the edge of it and you realize this before you know you go to Mythrix, then you'll have to go underneath the whole thing to where the artifacts are at to go to the next level. Also, this is what a overloading worm looks like if you did not know. I would step back from it and shoot it from a distance. I would also like to point out when you face these boys, you want to be at range. And as well as that's also true for the spiky ball people that if you touch their spikes, you know, it takes off your healing and you get healed. Stay away from them. Shoot them from a distance. So make sure when you get to that level, you may, you're the outside of it so you don't go fight Mythrix, but you continue. Don't pick up any lunar items. You want to go for crits and death marked items. After that, it really doesn't matter what you get. Make sure you get some health items though. At a certain point, I just started to speed run every level because I was high enough power that I didn't have to go look for every item. And I didn't want to just keep on doing that regardless, I wanted to speed it up. You should definitely find an overloading worm before you get to level 20, but if you don't, I would just continue. After you get it, you can just quit out of your run. You don't have to go die or anything, but you can obviously continue if you'd like. 
If you have any questions or there is an error, let me know down in the comments. Uh, like if you this helped, and uh, that's it.